Hi again, uh, here we are to continue our sketch to HTML example. And we've gotten pretty far, but this doesn't quite look the same. A big problem I'm having here is that the, you know, the, the, the input here kind of looks like it wants to span the entire window with a little bit of margin on the left and right. And my inputs in the HTML are kind of stuck on the left side and then they don't go all the way across, right? So how do we fix that? Well, first of all, let's take some measurements here in Sketch. And here's a great way to do this. Um, essentially, what I want to do is I want to find out the distance from here to here, OK? So my artboard, it's actually lined up at 0 right here. Um, and you know when I you know, move along the ruler here, you can see there's a guide, right? So I'm going to go to here. And then I'll click, and that'll place a, a guide. So you can, it's hard for, maybe hard for you to see, but my guide has a little number 46 right next to it. So it says that's, you know, 46 pixels from here to here. So that's the distance. And let's assume it's the same on this side, right? So essentially, if we make this 100% the width with a 46 pixel margin on the left and right, then it should look about like what we have here, and it'll grow if the window grows. So on a phone that's a little wider, it, the input will be a little bit wider. And if the phone's a little narrower, then the input will be a little bit narrower, right? So uh, let's go add that in code. Let's actually do it in the browser first. Remember earlier I used the inspector. Let's try that again. I'll right-click on the input here and choose... Um, you know, inspect, and you can see there's my input there. And we'll just put the style here on this, right? So we'll say, you will have a width of 100%, okay? And so now you can see that our input, you know, it goes all the way across, and then it actually goes a little bit off the edge. Hmm. And then let's do this. Let's say margin. You'll have a margin of 46 pixels. And so that looks pretty good. Too much space here. Um, and this looks about right, but then it's still going way off the edge. So what's going on there? Well, I put 46 pixels margin all the way around. So that's top, right, or left, bottom, and the right over here. So remember, if we make the first number something else, then we can have, you know, the top and bottom be this first number, and then this one can be the left and the right. So that's a little better, right? About 20 pixels there. That looks like about what we had in Sketch. But now, why is it going all the way across? Well, the box model describes like how big boxes are in HTML. Um, the size of a box is its width plus the padding and the border and the margin. So our box is 100%, which is the width of the window, plus 46 times 2, because there's 46 on the left and 46 on the right plus the two pixel border, which is actually four because there's two pixels on the left and two pixels on the right. And then plus the padding that we set over here, which is 20, but then there's 20 on the left and 20 on the right. So so no wonder it's running way off the edge, right? It's like another you know 150 or more pixels, right? So how do we fix that? Well, well what we're going to do is we're going to add this property here called box sizing, okay? And box sizing changes the way the... Um, the box model works, and I'm going to set the 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 um, the the value here to border box. And what border box says is that the size of the box is the is the width, and that number will include the padding and the border, right? So this hundred percent it now includes the padding and the border. It doesn't include the margin though. So if I do margin of zero, now you can see it goes all the way to the edges. Not quite because there's eight pixels margin on the body tag. That's why it doesn't quite touch the edges. But now it goes all the way across, right? Um, right, without border box, like if I turn that off, you can see now it's going to go off the edge because of the, uh, the border and the padding that we have set down here, right? So let's turn that back on. Let's change this back to 46 right? And then what we want to do is we want to subtract um, the 46 pixels on the left and right from the width. So we need to subtract the margin from the width, and we can do that. Um, CSS provides a method called calc, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract uh, 
46 uh, pixels times 2. Okay, we can just do all the math there, right? Okay, so we got calc. In other words, calculate the width of our box to 100% minus 46 pixels times 2. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty good. That kind of looks like what we have, right? So let's copy this style rule right here. So I'll just, you can just copy the text right out of the inspector. And what I want to do is I want to up apply it to all of my inputs, right? So I want to apply it to input, um, you know, um, input and um, input button. Okay, now I could have added it to, this, to the rules up here, but since both of those are going to share the same thing, I'll just paste it here. And you can see I have a selector here for one element, and then I use the comma to group another selector with it. So you can even put a line return, maybe that helps that read a little better, right? But both of these selectors point to two different elements on the page, or three really, and then this rule will apply in, in both of these cases, okay? So we'll save that, and then we'll go back to our browser and give it a quick test. Hey, so that's looking pretty good so far. Um, the space here is kind of screwed up, right? I, I think I didn't put the right number in there. Um, I guess, oh yeah, you know what? Maybe we got 20 pixels margin on the top and bottom. Um, we can adjust that later though. But uh, anyway, so that's looking pretty good, right? We got That's looking a lot closer to what we have in Sketch. Now we just got to take care of this button and then add our logo and the title at the top, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope that that is, is useful information.